AWS Smart Window Tutorial. After uploading the AWS ArchiCAD window you will have a lot more options available to you. Select Commercial or Residential Windows and click on Direct Website Links and Tutorial Links from inside of ArchiCAD. Clicking on the Next button will open a multitude of window styles and ranges making it easier to draw and specify complex windows from AWS. Click Next again and you will quickly see how the AWS Smart Window can help you to customise your designs according to the needs of any individual project, allowing you to work beyond the standard ArchiCAD window parameters. Moving on to the next section allows you to customise transoms, mullions and configurations that can also be altered in 3D view. We will demonstrate this later in the tutorial. If you are unsure of where each individual window part will start and stop, you can easily define the location by using this intuitive grid system. Window offsets, sills and many more customizations are available and all windows are low enough in poly count to keep your software running smoothly and quickly throughout the entire design process. Firstly, you have complete control over every individual section of transom or mullion through the use of this clever user interface. You can also control each individual intersection of the mullions and transoms. This basically allows you to come up with any arrangement of transom and mullion using an 8x8 grid. In this section, you can also set them to be equal, or you can untoggle the equals and modify the width manually. This aspect can also be controlled in the 3D window using movable hotspots. You also have complete control over the type and positioning of operable elements. First you nominate the number of operable elements you need, then you nominate the positioning of each. Using this grid over here, choose your start bottom left and N top right and then nominating the type of opening. In this one part you can have a combination of all these window types and door types. For this example we're going to put a sliding door in this main section then we'll put a bifold window in here, a louver across the top and maybe some awning encasements down in these sections here. Okay so for the sliding we want to go from point zero zero to point two two zero zero 2, 2, sliding door single. Then in this section here we want our bifold, so we're going to go from 2, 1 to 4, 2. So 2, 1 to 4, 2. And we choose a multifold. I think that's actually 2, 1 to 4, 3. So 2, 1 to 4, 3. And then we're going to put a louver across the top, so that'll be 0, 3 to 4, 4. 0, 3, 4, 4 louver and then we're going to chuck two little casements down in here so we're going to go from 20 to 31 and 30 to 41 20 31 30 41 and we'll do casement and casement now if we go to the next section of the operable elements the direction here we get to define a few more aspects of our operable elements so the sliding door, we have this repeated, the opening type. Position to mullion. So we have options of internal, central, external or manual. And if you choose the manual, then you get to nominate the offset. You have the same options for all elements. The direction, so this refers to the direction of the actual opening element. In this case, we're going to go left, so we want the right element to open left. So you can see the little symbol there. With the multifold, you have the option of outward or inward. Obviously there's no options for the directions or loops open in a certain way. And the casement, we want to have one left and one right, so we'll go right and left. You can also change the positioning of the 3D symbol to being on or off and standard and reverse in the case of casement swing doors and things like that. Then we go to sizing. 
In the sizing, we nominate the specific sizing of the operable element frames. This is for windows and down here for doors and also specific louver settings, spacing of blades, angle of blades and the 3D representation of the blade. And for the multifold doors we nominate how many panels on either side. We also in here can nominate the opening percentages in the 2D view and the 3D view. Ok, let's have a look at the object in 3D. So this is the window we have just created. As you can see the louver is set to a simple pane which helps with rendering. If we change that, you can come down here and change that to show the blades. Now you can see the actual louver blades. As you can see, this doorway compared to this doorway is obviously not going to be high enough. For, so we simply stretch the window up. Stretch it right up to here. And then we can go through and adjust the positioning of our transoms. To unlock the, the positioning of these transoms, you need to make sure that you have in the panel arrangements the equal boxes unchecked. So we can stretch that up and we can link it to that point there. And then we can just stretch this and if you want you can even then type in the amount. We can also do a similar thing in the 2D view with the mullions. Our 2D view. Select the window. And in here we can adjust the positioning of the mullions. In this object you can also apply casement. You can define the sizing. Sills, an internal sill, where you can define the sizing and position and the external sills where you have a choice between the three standard types and you can adjust all the angles and sizing. We also have a header option and all the necessary 2D representation elements and 3D representation elements.